I remember when uh, my nan was in the inpatient unit on Netland Road in her final days and she told me how proud she was of me and my brother and my siblings and that meant so much to me. I remember when my daughter looked at her baby son sleeping and she just brimmed over with happiness. She was so proud of him and that's such a positive memory. I remember one day when he kicked the football through the kitchen window and he tried to blame myself and my friend and we got into trouble for it. And uh, he, I turned around and he was just laughing. I remember when, on our golden wedding day, I took hold of his arm and got into the car. It was a big surprise and I knew nothing about it whatsoever. And it was the most lovely thing ever that he did. I remember when I first met her, when she rocked up in her biker boots and her red lipstick, gave me the warmest hug and then sat down and told me what we should do with the service. She was amazing. I remember when I first discovered I was pregnant and I let my grandma know that she was the first person I told um, because I just wanted her to know. I remember when we used to go on holiday as a family and Nana Taylor used to save up her money every year and she didn't have a lot, she'd save her money so that she could spend it on myself and my sister. I remember when he used to always take part in everything we did and used to always help us with everything and he used to be so committed to like us and like everything about us. He'd be silly and funny as well as he's serious and stuff. I remember when she tipped me out of the wheelchair. <laughs> I think I, I just remember, as I say, when my mum was in the hospice and just being so comfortable. Um, and also, she, when she was at home and very poorly, um, my dad was thinking she had to have a big plate of dinner. <laughs> it was a meat and two veg. Um, and she couldn't face it, she couldn't do it. And my dad couldn't understand it. So um, when she got in the hospice, she knew that they understood that and they gave her a small side plate with just a little bit of food on. And she said, and I can remember her saying, I can manage this. I remember when I proposed to Rachel, and it was in Loch Lomond, and um, I had to wait about 10-15 minutes for a load of Japanese tourists to get out of the way, and I had to keep saying to Rachel, oh let's just look at this view for a little bit longer, I think she thought I was losing the plot, <laughs> to be honest, and eventually they managed to shimmy, shimmy away so I could propose to Rachel. Because I was so scared about getting in the room, I just got a Harry Bow sweet ring into a box and I gave her a Harry Bow ring on a beach next to the I remember when my granddad used to chase me around the house with his false teeth. I remember when she used to come pick me up every Friday from school and just was there for me every week. I remember when my daughter was born and my nan came up to the hospital with the turkey and stuffing sandwiches because she was born on the 19th of December and my nan wanted me to eat so she brought me up Christmas dinner sandwiches. I remember when my granddad found my engagement ring in his shoe. <laughs> He showed me all his joke books and told me his favourite joke. I remember when me and my auntie made a teddy bear together. Well, I remember when my younger brother was born. Um, so he was born in 1979 when I was three. The main thing I remember about that is sitting on my dad's shoulders and going down Lincoln High Street and him buying me a toy tractor. Um, and it's always stood out as a brilliant memory for me. I remember when my granddad could bring in the bouquet of roses, even though I say it was a big deal for him to buy flowers. <laughs> it was really nice to see her face when he bought some of the roses. I remember all the times we spent together doing everyday things and special 
days out, trips, etc. And I'm glad that I've got those memories to, to last a lifetime. I remember when Grandad would get the Scrabble board out and I'd be so excited to play. And how, even though he would give me letters to cheat, it was just something that great that came out of something so naughty. He was just, he was my hero. Um, and it was, it's those days that I miss.